Turning now to Pope Francis and his first visit to the United States, you don't have to be Catholic to acknowledge the impact that this Pope is having around the world. <laughs> Conservatives like him, liberals like him, 65% of non-Catholics have a positive view of the Pope. And for the first time, a Pope is addressing Congress. So how much influence will Pope Francis have on policy? You know, I, I, find, his, um, I find him fascinating. I find this, the visit and everything surrounding his visit to the United States um, interesting as well and people's reaction. I mean, you even have our state law, our congressional delegation, Deputy Sabinow was tweeting about it yesterday that she was at the White House. So was uh, Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence. Um, you know what, I'm going to start with you. Uh, this is interesting to have a religious figure of this magnitude really feeling like he's now talking a little bit of policy um, here and addressing Congress. How, mm. do you, how do you gauge his visit? Well, I think the, 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 um, what makes this pope very special is his restorative effect on the Catholic Church, which has gone through some bad some bad times, lost membership, uh, finances are in an absolute mess, um, tied largely to the sex abuse scandals. And I think he's been someone who has healed and is healing the church after that and bringing people back in. And in that regard, I think his influence is going to be considerable. I think it's also interesting, Stephen, because he's talking about, he's talking about faith, but he's also talking about things like immigration. He's yeah. talking about climate poverty. change. He's talking about right. poverty. Um, what do you think his impact is so far? I, you know, I, I'm not sure that anybody looks to religious leaders to, to shape public policy uh, in the way that they do in, in some other countries. I mean, I think this is a country where we, we even, even on the furthest right, uh, I think, uh, understand that there's, a, there's still a separation between those two things. At the same time, I think uh, it's really important that this pope is, is trying to challenge not just Catholics, but other people in this country to think about how policy uh, plays out in terms of uh, morality and how it plays out in terms of who we are and the, the image that we project around the world. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, there's no question that the level of poverty that we tolerate in this country and that we in some ways aid and abet in other countries is not in, in concert with any sort of Christian values. It's not in concert with any religious values. And it's worth thinking about uh, what we might do to, to, to change that. And I think uh, this Pope is really effective at doing that in a really non-threatening way. He's not saying, he's not tilting against the United States and saying, well, it's a bad place or it's a place that should be wiped from the earth, but he's saying, live up to the, to the, to the ideals that you set out uh, and, and think about how po policy affects those things. And so in that way, I think he can be uh, effective. It's not, it's not direct so much as it is uh, an indirect way of doing it. What do you think, Nolan? Well, private individuals and institutions and philanthropists in the United States send something on the order of $35, $36 billion to help the poor in other places. So I think it's unfair Charity's to not characterize. not an answer to policy. And, and it spends, actually send more than, than the governments do. So I don't think it's quite fair to, to paint uh, the American people as selfish or uncaring about poverty. Um, I th again, I think uh, this pope is is setting a good example in actually, you know, not preaching from the mountaintop. He's actually walking among the poor and serving the poor, and that's a good example for for all people. But I don't think you can challenge Americans' charity. All right. Well, we're going <laughs> to have challenging charity. Well, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to leave policy. it. We're going to have to leave it there and uh, watch as his visit continues the in the United States through the rest of the weekend. The American and government <laughs> sends more than all of you. Guys, Europe. and we are going to take it. We're going to take it offline. And I appreciate <laughs> the fact that you don't listen to me very often. 